Hi, and here we are. We're going to be making some wonderful stuffed peppers. This recipe was quite an old recipe. Uh, we picked it up from a young lady who gave it to us uh, quite a few number of years ago. My husband then re-met her and we had lost it. So what she did is she gave it back to us and it, it's wonderful. Uh, a lot of nice ingredients and I know everybody has a good recipe for their stuffed peppers, you know, with rice in them or whatever. Yeah, you can substitute pretty much anything. If you don't want the bread, yes, you can use a filler, you can use some oats, and today we, we are using more products that aren't uh, um, based uh, in, in like a bread. Okay, well, the ingredients are very simple. Let's get down here and show you which ones they are, okay? We have, of course, our about a quarter pound of uh, ground beef. Uh, we can use chicken and we can use also uh, turkey. And that'll be enough for four peppers, pretty much medium size. And then we have our about two tablespoons of chopped parsley. We have some um, anchovies, about a tablespoon. We have our capers. These are what's going to give them that really nice salty taste. Um, and then we have about one garlic and a half chopped salt and pepper. We have black and green olives and we have a little bit of tomato that you can literally pick up a, a really nice ripe tomato squash it down if you don't want to open up a can of tomato that's about a quarter cup and then i chopped up about another good quarter cup of uh, n just normal uh, tomatoes i like them in there and uh, of course our bread and here's how we have it i put that in milk okay it's a little bit stale Try to use it like old stale bread, put it away, and then when you need it, we're going to be putting that all in to our bowl. So let's uh, okay, your next take a step little break is, of right course, now, your peppers. We'll get the Rather bowl out either and we'll start putting corn them in. Corn peppers or they're the, the nice heart pepper, we're going to have to take our little center out. Let me show you an easy way of doing this, okay? So here we are. What we're going to do is, even if this was a normal red pepper or green, you chop off a little bit of the top, because that's gonna be pretty. You're gonna put that on there and it'll be nice. All you have to do is you can undo the little veins of the pepper and just pull that right out and it comes right out. If there's a couple seeds, it doesn't bother me any, okay? I'll show you one more time. So you're gonna cut it. You're going to pick it up. This one is really little and just twist it right out. And on your uh, other peppers, it's, it's pretty much the same. And leave your tops. Okay, here's our bowl. And we're gonna start putting in all of our ingredients. Of course, I told you a half a pound of either ground beef or you can go ahead and use um, turkey, chicken. Mix it for, it, it's good. Then we're going to be putting in our two tablespoons of parsley. Of course, the really good ingredient is your anchovies. Yes, you can leave it out, but I recommend for this recipe to put it in. Between the anchovies and the capers, the uh, flavor is incredible. We're gonna add our one and a half garlic, which I put through a little the press. We'll have our black olives and our green olives, a quarter cup of the, um, and the, the, I'll put the recipe below in the description and you'll, you'll find it there. Of course, our salt and our pepper. Since you have your capers and your anchovies, um, kind of go easy on the salt, although it's nice, it gives a good flavor. Add a little bit more pepper and then the tomatoes that you chopped. At this point, just give it a little toss. Now we have to put our bread in, because our bread is kind of like our main ingredient. Kind of give it a little bit of a squish and have fun. It's like Play-Doh. Just put that in. It's nice to get those nice big pieces when you, when you, get, when you grab the uh, pepper. That's really good. And this is about, I'd say, three slices of stale bread. Okay. If it's a little bit, 
that you got, uh, you know, the milk didn't get to it too good. Just cut it up. You can use the crumb or you can use just the, I can take the crust off and you can just use the inside. We're going to be mixing this up again a little bit. Notice there's no eggs. This recipe has no eggs. It doesn't need it. It will bind just perfectly when they're inside. There you go. Give it a nice, you know, try to get your meat combined with your, um, your little bit of bread. Oh, there's such, my goodness gracious, there's beautiful perfume. Beautiful. And what I would do, make sure you mix it because you have your anchovies. Uh, by the way, you can use a little bit of anchovy paste also. If you, if you have that at your local uh, grocery store, you can also use the uh, uh, tape, a teaspoon of the anchovy paste. And that'll make it really nice. That was part of the recipe that the lady gave us. But I'm using whole ones. Okay. And at this point, all we have to do is get our pan ready. I'm just going to use a little pan, add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom, okay, a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to take our pepper and I'm also going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pepper, just a little bit, okay. And what I'm going to do now, this is another good part, play-doh, really nice, is I'm going to fill it. You can use your hands, it's easy. I know the round ones will be a little easier to fill. On this one, we just keep pressing it in till we have it. There you go. Isn't that nice? Then we grab our little top that came with it. And I get a little toothpick and I just stick it in there. And there's your stuffed pepper. You put it right in there. So we're going to proceed. We're going to proceed with the um, other peppers and you just continue doing that. Stuff them, place them one next to each other and put a little bit of aluminum foil on top, put them into a 350 degree oven that you have preheated for roughly about 30 minutes and then uncover them and keep an eye on them. I'd say let them stay in the oven another 15 minutes and you'll see how nice and crisp they are. And we'll be showing you our finished product at the end in, in a little bit when we've got our uh, ours all done. Thank you very much. Eh? Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Our pepperoni di bini are ready. Our stuffed red peppers. Oh, what a perfume in here! Beautiful smell. Mmm, mmm, beautiful. Okay, let's put them right here and let's see how nice they look. Remember, you can use any pepper. These are nice and long. See the coloring on them. Now we'll take one out. I'll just take a little one out. Okay, we're going to give it a good taste test. Right? And all the time. Okay, so let's get this a cut. They cut very beautifully. Aren't they lovely? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's try right over here. Get a little bit of the meat, a little bit of the pepper. Oh, look at that. Steaming. It's just steaming right now. Okay, let's give that a try. We're going to give this a beautiful try. Oh. Mmm. Talk about manja manja. Let me tell you. The capers in here, the olives, the, the little, little, little hint of those, art, those anchovies, it just tastes delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little small recipe. It was a fast one, but very simple. And remember to subscribe. I would enjoy that if you would. And always use your virgin, extra virgin olive oil on your food. It's always the best. And again, I would love if you would subscribe to me. I enjoyed this little video and there'll be more to come. If you have any ideas, give me a, a shout out and we'll, we'll make them for you. Okay, I hope you enjoy Marisa's Cucina Italiana. Bye friends.